Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I just got my Club EP, which is Echo Park Paper, kit for the month of May. Couldn't wait to open this and I just slit the tape. I haven't even looked inside. I've already forgotten what it looked like. I remember it was spring sort of theme, spring, summer. Um, and I don't think I actually ordered any add-ons this time. So let's get this open. Very cute. So if you're not familiar with Club EP, look under this video. I will give you a link to my entire playlist for Club EP and it contains the box openings as well as any projects I make with them. 30% off everything for Echo Park. Ooh, cool. We'll definitely check that out. And here's what they do. They like to give you this little project sheet. It gives you some ideas of some things you can do. So there's photos for these, and then there's uh, instructions on how to do a couple of them. So that's always nice. If you're kind of stuck when you open this up, oh my goodness. And you know what? Um, I just love this box, and I love this goes right along with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna open this up in a minute. I wanna show you the washi tape. And you can always see the very top right there, what it looks, sort of what it looks like. No, no, that's kind of, shows it on a wood background, though. This is what it looks like right there. I'm sorry for all this glare. We are going to have to redirect here, pull all of this out, and see if we can't get rid of some of the glare. There, I can pull it this way. So this, this one came with puffy stickers. Let's see if I can focus. There you go. They are very pale, very pastel. So it looks like it's not focusing. It's because of that as well. They're very soft. Okay, and it comes with this stamp set. Looking for something with a white background. Here we go. So this says beauty, thanks, happy day. This is our happy. Oh, it's like a, a binder clip. This is us, thank you, little. Oh, it's a cross stitch heart, butterfly flowers. Wedding bells, key, butterfly. Oh, that butterfly is so adorable, a heart. And then this flower arrangement. And then this is their chipboard accents, and there's their chipboard stickers. This looks really, looks real, doesn't it? Oh, look at that clothespin. So it's about Vintage Farmhouse. What is the name of this set? Is, is Farmhouse, Farmhouse Market. It's called Farmhouse Market. These are the stickers in the paper collection. Oh, a little thimble, a cake stand. <gasps> Look at this border here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what that is. That's not a binder clip. That stamp right there is one of these pole drawers. Now the papers themselves, oh, you can't see them. I'm going to have to pull them out. What a shame, right? <laughs> okay, let's look at these papers. Okay. Now, oh, what a beauty. And so this is a Cartabella collection. Cartabella and Echo Park, same company basically, but the Cartabella line are thicker and have texture to them. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, look at these like embroidery hoops. Oh my. Oh my goodness. You know, I already am hesitant to cut into any of this so pretty farmhouse this was on one of their other um this was on their home again collection as well oh look at these baskets Ooh, love these cut aparts you could actually cut these tiny little tags out or just leave it as a border this is so pretty but i you wouldn't be able to um really chop that up unless you cut it into strips oh so lovely it's like watercolor and these are like watercolor fl color flowers on wood. Oh, and look at that. Oh, I love plaids and I love that. These, oh man, ah, I love this, but it's in the back of all these journaling cards. Oh no, uh, I love cut aparts, but I really like that paper. So it, I like when they gave us two of everything so that we can have the journaling cards and the background paper on the back. These are really cute. Oh, how sweet and precious. And more journaling cards. 
very cute and this is, looks like wallpaper doesn't it so beautiful so a lot of watercolor i'm going back to that first thing of, of um, journaling cards because i'm not sure that i actually got the whole thing in there oh this is so hard all their papers are so precious that i even saved the little border strip on the bottom this is such a lovely collection oh my gosh okay so let's go ahead put this away and then i will get out the ephemera and take a look at that I have to fold that sticky in okay so this says we have how many pieces 33 pieces of ephemera and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Whoop, wrong way. Okay, vintage market. Oh, how cute. So this is like one of the cut apart cards there that is said a small version. My heart is full. These are adorable. Oh, I think that might have been an accident that I got two of those. They were stuck together. Canisters. Look at this fan. This is so cute. How cute. Home. I wasn't born in a barn, but I got here as fast as I could. And these uh, these punch out picture perfect, beautiful, little embroidery hoop, journaling card, cake stand, banner, bunting. It says beauty, call me old fashioned. Oh, how beautiful. These make great tags too. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Ooh, all the things, home sweet home. Another banner piece, so cute. Oh, another banner piece, love it. And another banner piece, and another banner piece. Vintage, if you're familiar with their punch outs, the center of this can punch out. You can leave it like it is or punch the center and have a frame. So beautiful, and there's the clothespin. I must have flowers, always and always, Claude Monet. That is the Cut Apart collection, or excuse me, not the Cut Apart, the Ephemera collection. What a gorgeous, breathtaking collection. So excited to start playing with this. Oh, I have to think of something special so <laughs> I don't waste any of these materials. Sorry, make sure you look at that link down below and it will show you the... Um, the list I have of all the videos I've done of all of their kits that I have gotten since I subscribed and it's an every other month subscription it's really affordable and I think their kits are always worthwhile thanks everyone for tuning in